And we're off. And it's late today. Updates. Updates that don't work. Yeah. Inside baseball. Anyway, the Saturday wrap for Saturday, the 29th of January, 2022. January's nearly over. It's been a cold, damp January sort of month. The bad news is February is next, and usually at the end of February there's snow. There's a chance there could be snow at the beginning of February as well. There is, however, a Beano approaching. Um, the Pelican in Gloucester, a winter beer festival. I'm in. There might be some other Beanos as well. I'm looking forward to maybe the Hereford Beer House reopening and maybe going to Stroud. Anyway, I have to shut up and get on with it. Um, so, yeah, as I said, Saturday wrap, 29th of January, 2022. Okay, looks over here. Word or phrase of the week. The word or phrase of the week is chitting. I am now officially chitting. I washed out the baking trays, I put them in the back lobby, and they dried them off, and my potatoes, my seed potatoes, I should say, that arrived, are now all stacked up vertically with their eyes pointing towards the sky. Chitting. Yeah, um, it's a new season. Okay, so the plan is um, I've got some main crop and some second earlies. The second early is probably put in um, mid to late March, dependent on the weather. And the main crop, maybe around the same time. Uh, it all depends on, well, to be perfectly honest, you should spread them out so that you get an even crop and all that sort of business. I don't really care. I just want them growing. You can just leave them in the ground when they're done. Mostly going to be in bags this year. So anyway, word or phrase of the week, chitting. Oh, by the way, a goodbye to Mr. Barry Cryer. You were excellent. And Mornington Crescent. That was also excellent. Right, um, app of the week. Um, on Windows, on Mac, where the issues are, um, uh, Android and uh, iOS, OneDrive. Um, I have Office 365. Uh, that gives me one terabyte of storage. A couple of years ago, I decided for my various machines that I would use OneDrive as my storage medium, and I didn't have to go around between all the laptops updating them. I used to use floppy disks and WinRAR. WinRAR is still a really good archiving utility, but, um, well, anyway. Um, this week, there was an update to Mac OS. There was also tvOS, uh, an iOS, an iPadOS, and they're big security updates. So even if you don't think you should install them, install them. Anyway, um, there is a change coming, and... OneDrive is just a pain in the ass with it. Um, it just sort of puts placeholders in there and you have to pull the things down. Um, in the past, you could just specify, I want space holders for this thing, I want these pulled down definitely, and that would be fine. It doesn't seem to work that way at the moment, hoping it will get sorted out. Anyway, apart from that, OneDrive is fine. Uh, does the job, does the job in the background, nine times out of ten up until this week, it just worked on the Mac as well. These things are sent to try us. And the thing of the week, the thing of the week is Sue Gay's or Gray's report. As of this recording, which is 11 o'clock on Saturday, it's still not out. Redactions. Yeah, um, and such like. Oh, and the other thing, um, food scandals. Sure, in Wales, Mr. Vague Guessing sat on a park bench, although it wasn't in the park bench, and had a tray of chips, which his rules said you shouldn't have done. And then there was the pork pie putsch. And this week, it was all about cakes, Marks and Spencer birthday cakes. Politics and food. It's all go, you know. 
Ah, yeah. Well, there you go. Right, what else have we got? Um so uh this time last week i did this um i recorded it in the john wallace linton uploaded it over the second wi-fi access point in the pen and wig always use number two not number one because it's a lot faster oh by the way the john wallace linton now has fiber to the cabinet wi-fi okay so it's only about 35 down but it's 17 up which is the same as 70 down generally speaking so that's a good thing um and i went into tiny rebels bar and they had some of those beers which sort of semi infringed trademarks um it was that thing that fizzy beer beer i can't remember but this was called beer call or whatever they love being like this Although, you have to be careful, Brutog took a bit of a, well, the BBC shot them in the, um, yeah, um, and it turns out that Brutog aren't that nice after all, or truthful. The beers are good. <sighs> Here's the thing, if we were to stop doing things and buying things from people that we didn't like, I don't think we would buy anything. Hmm think about that one anyway the beer was excellent really really good so um yeah uh this week was in advance of on friday uh, back to alert level zero now you think alert level zero would mean nothing um but they still have those vax passes which don't seem to do anything and you still have to wear masks on a bus or a train unless you're exempt um, I still don't follow all of that, to be perfectly honest, um, because you just say you're exempt and then no one can say anything about you. And most masks, those blue ones, uh, read the labels, uh, cloth masks, read the labels, N95. Oh, what about an Avon S10 respirator? Anyway, back to the story. I was speaking to two different people and they both said the same thing. From now on, there's no going back. There's no lockdown. It's over. Even if we haven't finished with it, which we haven't, we're not going back to the way it, we were. We just have to live with it nowadays. And I think a lot of people think that, um, especially here in Wales, where we lock down at a drop of a hat. People are just not going to do it. I'm certainly not. I've had three jabs. What's the point of three jabs if you're going to lock everyone down? Really? Hmm. Anyway, um, uh, talking tech. A lot of word on the Pixel 6a. Um, and it might be out in May. Uh, if I remember back correctly, the 3a was, back at, was out in May, and that was 2019. This one will be 5G. I really hope this is correct um, because I want to fill my boots with a Android device that's 5G. As things stand at the moment, there's a hint of 5G in Bedros if you stand in the right place. Um, there's a hint of 5G in Gloucester outside the Quayside Premier Inn. And of course, the best place for it in Newport, the Market Bus Stop. Uh, that's three UK. Mind you, if you're in the John Wallace Linton, you get three G from three UK. Mm. Okay, so would have been a good idea to upgrade everything to four G first, maybe. Who knows? Although there's talk um, from Vodafone that they might be dumping uh, as of next year three G and reusing the frequencies for five G. Ah, okay. Um, meanwhile, in Ireland, this is quite funny. Um, uh, some boys, some local lads, uh, went to a post office and tried to uh, withdraw a person's uh, pension. Quite rightly, the post office said, if he's not here, you can't withdraw his stuff. So they found the guy who was dead and took him to the post office. And the post office said... We can't give you his pension. He's dead. And called the police. 
<laughs> I mean, you take a dead person to the post office. And they said, we didn't really know he was dead. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um, so, uh, in the week, iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, watchOS, uh, macOS, big security updates. And as I've already mentioned, uh, issues with OneDrive. Oh, not just OneDrive, Dropbox as well. Yeah. Mm, mm. Uh, and finally, yesterday, Friday, a day's leave um, into Newport, rather frosty. Um, the separators between the tables in Weatherspoons are coming down. Um, you can go to the bar and buy beer. Um, it's all really rather good. Um, I went to the Pen and Wig and just wandered up and down the bar to see what they had. I like that. Um, Tiny Rebel. Here's the thing. Most of the bars don't have a big selection of beers. I think they're all a little bit worried, just in case, just in case they lock us down again. However, what with the Six Nations coming up uh, in February, which is from Tuesday, I think they will be buying in more beers from then, and all the pumps will be filled. You can but hope. Anyway, um, it's mild. It's grey and it's drizzly, but it is mild. And I like that. I like that a lot. So, um, week ahead. I've got Monday on leave. And the week after that, um, the Pelican and maybe somewhere else. I'm just trying to get rid of February and get straight into March and springtime, maybe. I thank the Lord. Other lords are available. Um, my life has been good. Um, little blessings and such like. Anyway, shut up, get on with it, wave, uh, normal con comments and such like. Um, and I will see you all probably from a pub this time next week, depending on the weather. Bye-bye.